Hello students, today we are doing part 1 of lesson 8 from your science textbook for standard 8, Pollution. So come along then, let's read and understand it. This video was made just for you. Do remember to like, share and subscribe. Pollution. Let's begin the lesson. Observe these pictures given to you. So, these are the various problems of the environment that we fa face. We face water pollution, we face air pollution, there is land pollution. So, why these problems in environment may have been uh, arised? So, why did these problems happen? Why did this uh, you know, pollution happen for the first place? Let's think about it. And what should be done to overcome these problems? How do we solve these problems? So, we are going to learn all this in this lesson. Now, many problems have been arisen on the earth due to human interference. So, human beings have interfered. That means, have, you know, done something against nature. So, interference in the nature industrialization that is building large amount of industries without even thinking of what could be the problem about it then there is the threat of increasing population our population is growing around the world okay and because of that what is happening we are using large amount of resources we have to clear land to build buildings we are consuming more water we have to grow more crops so the increasing population is also creating a large amount of pollution then there is mining that is they dig deep into the land to get the uh, minerals that is iron ore maybe other uh, metals all these things we are mining then there is transportation so increasing population means increase in the transportation so we are using more vehicles and therefore what happens is there is more pollution on our roads and indiscriminate use of pesticides and fertilizers so indiscriminate means without even thinking we are just thinking how we are going to produce more and for that we are using large amount of pesticides and fertilizers so this is also causing a lot of pollution because these are chemical fertilizers these are chemical pesticides which go back into the land and into the water streams so that is also causing a lot of pollution water pollution land pollution so all these are causing pollution on the earth and it is affecting human beings so in turn who, who is suffering because of this pollution human beings itself we ourselves are creating this pollution and it is harming us so isn't it time to think about it so we shall learn more about pollution so what is pollution contamination of natural environment contamination means degradation to devalue lessen the value of something so when we contaminate contamination of natural environment so whatever god has given to us whatever nature has provided with us that will be harmful to ecosystem is called as pollution so anything that we do to harm the ecosystem is called pollution now here are some two questions to reflect on can you tell where do you see the pollution around you so where do you th see the pollution think about it we see pollution all around us we see land pollution air pollution water pollution isn't it how does the pollution occur so how is this pollution happening who is causing this pollution okay who is creating this pollution so we shall learn about pollutants now so what are pollutants factors affecting natural functions of ecosystem so anything that is affecting that is creating a harm to the functioning of the ecosystem and causing harmful effects on abiotic and biotic factors are called pollutants so what are biotic biotic means the non-living things that are there on this earth that is our soil air water all these things which are non-living and biotic are living organisms so we have living organisms or so many you no know, animals human beings microorganisms birds fishes all this will come under the biotic even trees and plants will come under biotic so anything that we do 
anything that is affecting that is creating a problem to the ecosystem and it is causing harm to the biotic and abiotic components these factors are called pollutants and pollutants make the environment poisonous and unhealthy so all these pollutants that we see the smoke the dust particles the dirt and the garbage that we create the chemical uh, you know pollution so all these that is harming the environment are called pollutants now pollutants may be natural or man made okay so we have nature also pollutes but nature has its own way of taking care of it now natural pollutants are destroyed in due course of time by nature's rule however man made pollutants are not now natural uh, pollutants that is nature also create pollutants so these pollutants are taken care of nature nature takes care of it destroys it and uh, gets back uh, to its shape but man made pollutants remain like plastic waste plastic waste remains in the environment for such a long time we are generating more and more industries creating more industries and so there is air pollution because of that now think about it if natural if natural materials are pollutants why do we not perceive their adversing effects during their use so natural materials are pollutants so why why what is the reason behind that we can't see it what happens when such materials are referred as pollutants so we are calling these natural uh, natural waste as pollutants so why it is not harf, harming the environment so like i had told earlier these uh, uh, nature has its own way of taking care of these pollutants so nature takes care of it and it destroys it now try this here is an activity for you to do you yourself survey survey means go through and see for yourself your residential area so you survey your residential area and identify the polluted locations every place there is some corner or some place where it is very very badly polluted so go around wherever you stay go around your place and see where is the pollution where is pollutant okay and try to identify the pollutant at each polluted location so if you find a garbage heap so see what is what is causing this garbage heap who is creating this and what is the pollutants in these things all right and now here is something for you to think about use your brain power which types of pollutants are observed so what do you see what pollutants what factors do you see are causing the pollution and whether the pollutants are degradable or non degradable degradable means they go back to nature okay they get decomposed and non degradable means they will remain in nature as it is for many many years just like i had mentioned plastic waste remains in the environment for long time sometimes chemical waste is there in the soil and so also there are so many harmful things that we generate and these are non degradable they do not get degraded at all so think about all these questions and to check your answers you can visit our website at www.jkacademypro.com you'll get the link in the description box below do solve the exercise that is given at the end of the lesson and to check your answers you can visit our website at www.jkacademypro.com you'll get the link in the description box below do remember to like share and